I am Ning Hoi Kim Kong Sai and you are watching TCN English News Edition. The headlines first. District Administration sent requisitions of Central Paramilitary Forces in Imphal, Vishnupur and Jorjampur. Manipur Police condemns live attempt on additional SP, M. Amit and others. Second day of 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly underway. Discuss on various issues. News in detail. In response to the current situation, district administrations in Manipur have requested the deployment of center paramilitary forces in three districts, Imphal, Bishnupur, and Churchampur. Further, the district magistrate DM of Infall West in Manipur have sought for requisitions of the services of Assam Rifles in Kongnang Anikara to Lila Singh, Kongnang Kong up to North AOC, and Krishna Premi Oil Pump to Secretariat up to Singh Zamechinga, crossing from 9 a.m. of 29 to 2024 till 5 3 2024 to assist civil authority in order to maintain peace and to bring a sense of security and confidence among the people of Infall West District. As per India today, Northeast, a notification from the Office of the District Magistrate of Infall West stage, whereas information received from the Superintendent of Police Infall West that there is a serious breach of law and order has taken place within Infall City and adjoining areas in connection with the existing law and order situation. And whereas reports of incidents of mob violence have been received. And whereas prohibitory orders under Section 144C are penal code against the assembly of five or more persons and carrying of arms is already enforced in the district and relaxed from time to time. And whereas it appears to me that there is apprehension of a serious security threat to the life and property of citizens in Infal City and adjoining areas. And whereas the situation has gone beyond the control of the district administrations and district police in which the case the district administration and district police requested necessary assistance from the central forces. I, Dr. N. Johnson Mate, in charge district magistrate in Fall West District, in exercise of the power conferred under Section 130 of Code of Criminal Procedure 1973. Do hereby requisition the services of Assam Rifles in Kongnang Anikarak to the last thing, Kongnang Kong up to North AOC and Krishna Premi Oil Pump to Secretariat up to Singh Zamechinga, crossing from 9 a.m. of 29 June 2024 till 5 3 2024. To assist civil authority in order to maintain peace and to bring a sense of security and confidence among the people of Infall West District, reads the notification. On the other hand, for Bisnupur, the district administration requested to provide one column of 59 GR under HQ 9 sector IGAR South to assist the district police. Bisnupur for deploying at Nambal Police Gate with effect from February 29 till the assembly session is over. On the same line, the Churchampur district has called for the requisitions of Assam rifles in Churchampur town and adjoining areas to assist civil authorities in maintaining peace. It is to be mentioned here. Even the office of the district magistrate, Kangpokpi, also sends requisitions for the services of Assam Rifles in Kangpokpi with immediate effect to assist civil authority in order to maintain peace and to bring a sense of security and confidence among the people of Kangpokpi. Manipur Police Department has condemned the recent live attempt on additional SP operations of Infall West District. Murang Tem Amit and the attack carried out by armed miscreants at his residence in Wangkai Tokpa, Leikai, in Fall East District on February 27th evening. Police top officers held a press meet in this regard at Manipur Police Headquarters in Infall's 
Babu Bara on Thursday. Speaking to media, Manipur Inspector General of Police, Law and Order, I.K. Muliva has said that police has started investigations into the incident and has also recovered most of the weapons snatched away by the miscreants. He appealed to the he appealed to the public to cooperate with Manipur police in bringing back peace and tranquility in the state. Press statement from Manipur Police Department handed out to the media persons who attended the press meet says. The police, Manipur Police Department highly condemns the incident of live attempt on one of the additional SP operations in Fall West. Other police officers and men in the evening of 27 June 2024 by members of Arambai Tengal. During the incident, the, ma the family members of Merang Tim Amit Singh, additional SP operations in Full West, were also intimidated by firing bullets, besides vandalizing houses and properties. The additional SP was also abducted beaten and later released after timely intervention by the department. In connection with this incident, numerous concocted narratives are being circulated on various platforms, including social media, leading to character assassinations of the state officer and the police department as a whole. In this regard, it is important for right-thinking people to understand the origin of events which have led to this unprecedented and unprovoked incident. It is to be informed that on 27 June 2024 afternoon, one information was received about stealing or snatching of two numbers of ambassador cars, bearing registration numbers MNO7X7682 and MNO1X7683 by some unknown armed miscreants from government oil depot located at North AOC. Based on this information, the state officers, namely Merang Tim Amit Singh, Inspector P. Achoba Mayde, OC, CDO in Fall West and other teams had conducted search and intercepted the two vehicles which were stolen or snatched, along with apprehensions of one individual who was part of committing the crime. Later in this connection, one case, a fire number, 1062-2024, Info Police Station, 3790-3798-400-506-34 IPC and 24 1B, Arms Act was registered and investigated in two. It is to state that the members of Arambai Tingle had carried out targeted attack on the above officers as well as attacked the house and properties of the additional SP operations in Full West in connection with the above incident and for lawful discharge of duties. It is to be pointed out that Moirang Tem Amit Singh, additional SP operations in Full West, Inspector P. Achauba Mayde, OC, CDO in Full West, and others have been working tirelessly and contributing to the efforts to answer law and order in the state, especially in Full West District. The police department has been putting all out efforts to answer law and order in the state, and the department appeals to the general public for extending cooperation to the police department. The public is requested to refrain from rumor mongering and circulating fake news. Besides, AT is engaging in many antisocial activities like assaulting civilians, snatching out vehicles from public or government officers. They are also indulging in extortions from the common public and businessmen. They are gaining full support from the public in the garb of protecting the public, but they are committing many antisocial activities and criminal acts. Public must not be misled and give cooperation to Manipur police in bringing peace and tranquility back in the state. Manipur police remains ever committed to guard and protect the lives and properties of public. Further, Manipur police is also a neutral force and not acting against any community or in favor of want. Use of social media to target any officer or unit will be strongly dealt with. 
by taking up cases in action. Police is united team from top to bottom and any attack on anyone will be taken seriously and stringent action taken. On 28 June 2024, an extensive area domination drive by combined force of MR, IRB, CDOs, civil police led by SPs of IE, IW, DBL, KCG, BPR districts were conducted last night in the Valley districts. With Manipur police being targeted, the need for calling in army and other central forces will have to be enhanced. Combining operations will continue in the days to come and no one and no one responsible for such criminal activities will be spared. People should cooperate in police work. Targeting one of our senior officers, additional SP, Operations Amit, is extremely unfortunate. Those things have never happened in the past in Manipur so far. We are a civil police. That civil part, everyone, the public has experienced that civil part. That whatever we do, the police, we do it moderately. And then, of course, some few things may be there, but generally, the police are always doing things as per law and ensuring the safety, security of all the citizens of the state. <coughs> and now, if the civil police are not able to perform their normal duties due to lack of cooperation from the public, or obstruction from various CSOs or organizations. Then normally what happens, as in all other states of India also, the other central security forces will automatically has to come in to assist, to help. And that means the CRPF, BSF, Assam Rifle, Army, all has to come in to assist. And that will result in a situation which is far more undesirable, which will be far more dif further from the normal situation in, that is prevailing in this state. So it is our appeal to all the public to give maximum cooperation to the police and also to the CSOs to understand the situation. Because if we are not able to perform, then other security agencies has to come to the aid. And we have experienced all those things in the past decades, how it was like. So we don't want the return to the past. And the police have to do their duties, their basic mandated duties. That is to ensure law and order, to do works of investigation, to register cases from time to time, to help in various uh, things that is required in society. So do not think that it is being done against anyone or any organization or anything like that. It is nothing personal. It is the police that has to do what it has been doing for centuries. So let us understand it in that way. And uh, The second day of the 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly session was held today at the Manipur Assembly Hall, Chingmeirong, at around 11 a.m. During the sitting, various MLAs and ministers presented their grievances, as reported. None of the Kukizo and Naga MLAs were present in the sitting. Chief Minister Amberant Singh, in his speech regarding the suspension of operations, said that the underground insurgent group of Kukizo had never been in shootout with the Indian army and asked suspension of operation was not necessary. Other Maiti underground insurgent groups also had never been put in shootout with the Indian army. But recently, one group of the Maiti insurgent group had a peace talk with the state government. And Birad, who is also in charge of home, said, 
and as said, I am had always been in shootout with the Indian Army, he added. Yes, Cookie militant suit or Miss Curry, you know. Two thousand five to euro, I take euro, cookie militant suit or Miss Maram Sicker, you know. Cookie militant in the army, the cock of my cock will be record my brother. In the army, the Indagi against the work, my war to give up. Manipur, the state keep forcing my of the war to give up. Curry, he suit or me, no. Ten Naga legislators of Manipur have urged Chief Minister Amber Singh to appoint new tribal affairs and hills minister in charge in place of Minister Le Pao Kip to look after the affairs of tribals and hills efficiently and effectively. In a later address to the Chief Minister signed by ten Naga legislators, namely Jandil MLA SS Olis, Ukrul MLA Ram Muiva, Tadubi MLA N Kaisi. Tamenglong MLA Zanghemlung Pame. Keirong Karong MLA Ze Kumo Sa. Pungar MLA Leishio Kaising. Jingai MLA Minister Kasim Basum. Mao MLA Losi Diko. Tame MLA Minister Awangbo Niu Mai. And Nungba MLA Dinganglung Gangme highlighted that innocent citizens of Manipur are facing difficulties due to unrest happening in the state and in this earth of crisis. As per cruel times, the later to CM Enbiran stated that the functioning of tribal affairs and hills department has been rendered defunction due to absence of Minister of Tribal Affairs and Hills, Government of Manipur, for the past 10 months. It pointed out that the Tribal Affairs and Hills Department is becoming more crucial in this hour of crisis to look after the needs and deployment development of tribals and hills, areas of the state to bring overall peace and progress in the state. It may be mentioned that former members of Autonomous District Council had also appealed for replacement of Tribal Affairs Minister Le Pao Hokip, citing similar concerns. The Manipur Legislative Assembly has 10 Naga legislators and 10 Kukizo legislators representing the tribals in a house of 60 MLS. A public notice from Joint Philanthropic Organization signed by Elder Laldon Lin Varte, Convener and Lianzalal Secretary state that the JPO in its executive meeting 
VDA resolution number one dated 18 February 2024 at YPA Hall. Hyang Tam Lamka resolved that any individual or groups who disturb public tranquility by conducting unorganized agitations without the prior approval of JPO will be condemned in the strongest term. In this regard, the JPO appeal the public to refrain from such activities in future. Any individual or group who ignore the JPO appeal will take their own risk and the JPO will not give any support or help due to the result of their action. A book releasing function was held today at Bethany Christian College, fam Family Land, Bizang at around 1.30 p.m. The book titled George Orwell as a Literary Critic is written by Dr. B. Kamzamung, Principal Bethany Christian College in the course of two years. The function was led by Jing Ngai, Assistant Professor, History Department, Bethany Christian College, and the dedication of was had by Reverend Dr. Lung Kao Hau Kip, Chairman Governing Board BCC, Dr. L. Kobung, Vice Principal, BCC Delivery, delivered keynote to the gathering, followed by singing of BCC and them, led by Tang Zaleng. In his speech, the writer of the book, Dr. B. Kamzamung, Principal, Bethany Christian College, told a brief history about how the book, George Auer, as a literary critic, came into being. It took him three years to finish the book. He wrote this book after 24 years of his PhD. He was guided by Professor S. Prashad, Bihar PhD, Supervisor, Department of English Literature, MU, during the course of his writing. The book was released by retired Professor Laldena, Professor History Department, MU, and former Vice Chancellor, Sangai International University, Sekula Hulk, Assistant Professor, Political Science and IQSC coordinator delivered both of things to the gathering. The Basan Pai and Gilgal Veng Zoin Committee of the Pailin Village made a public information regarding the sanitations and dumping of waste in the drains and open areas of their locality. They also voluntarily constructed Culvert in between Basampai and Gilgal Veng as maintenance of the village and its household contribute 20 rupees each for the construction of this culvert joining the true locality. This committee was set up under the consent of the village chief and village authority members. They are doing their best to develop their locality and the first step towards their developmental program is to develop a clean and high stick locality. The Zoin Committee has laid down various rules and regulations for the local residents as well as the people living around the mansion locality. The rules laid down for the general public and the localities include curfew imposed for school students from 6 p.m. onwards, strong actions to be taken against any person involved in dealing with black business, befitting action to be taken against any drunkard creating problems in the locality. All residents should maintain proper dustbin which will be picked up by the garbage truck after every two weeks, that is, twice every month. If anyone is caught dumping their waste at any unsuitable places like drains and open areas, they are to be imposed a fine of 500 rupees. Burning of garbage is prohibited in the locality. A fine of rupees 1000 imposed against improper septic disposal. The residents should park their vehicles inside their campus and not on the roadside. And lastly, outsiders are prohibited to enter the state localities beyond 9 p.m. The Basampai and Gilgal Veng Zoin Committee kindly request all to respect and abide by the rules laid down by the committee. They have set a good example, and the other localities are also requested to adopt the idea so that we all can work together to promote clean and high stick lamka. Every citizen single citizen had a role to play to promote the culture of cleanliness in the district.
Reporting from Basan Paiveng, the Pailin Village. I am Tingne Tim Hokip, a reporter from TCN office. And today we are going to cover the different, uh, the different places where solid waste has been missed down in these uh, two areas or localities. As we can see, um, like the other places, this village is also suffering from the misdisposal of waste in their areas. The waste has been discarded openly in any open places that is not uh, habited. Also, the drains and the Open places near the highways or near the uh, colony road are just garbage has been piling up or gar garbage has been dumped in these uh, open areas or in the uh, uh, drain areas. And as we can see, even here, not only the local residents, but also people from outside the localities and even um, from near and around the localities has been uh, found to be dumping their waste here. Instead of taking care of their own waste, they come and dump here. And it is also making the place unhygienic and can also lead to the outbreak of many bacterial and fungal diseases. So to prevent all this from further happening, the Basan Pai and Gilgal Wing Joint Committee has set up or has laid up various rules and regulations for the local residents as well as for the people, for the outsiders who reside near or around Basan Pai Wing, the Pailin village. Not only do the Joint Committee of Basan Pai and Gilgal Wing of the Pailin village uh, focus on the cleanliness and sanitation of the uh, Veng, but they all, but they also promote their selfless activities in other forms, just like uh, constructing culvert here. This is uh, the, this uh, construction of this culvert doesn't have any funding, but the local the co local residents collect twenty rupees each, and with that the. Uh, uh, executive committee members of the uh, Gilgal and Basan Pai Bank Joint Committee, uh, they come and do all the uh, physical labor here. And then these are not uh, employees, but they are the uh, re they are the executive members of uh, the Joint Committee. They selflessly uh, walk here and uh, construct this uh, culvert, which join the Basan Pai and Gilgal Bank of the Pai Lane Village. As we can see, these are the selfless work they have done and uh, the committee is promoting not only sanitation but other awareness uh, programs and also they, all, uh, they have set up various rules and regulations for the people as well as the local residents to follow in these two wings. This is all we can cover today in regards to uh, the Basan Pai and Gilgal Wing, Deep Highland Village Joint Committee uh, work. A district level workshop was held today at around 11 a.m. at Senat Hall, IB Road, in regards to intensified pulse polio immunizations program, which will be conducted on the 3rd of March 2024, this coming Sunday. The program was attended by the divisional supervisor, sectoral supervisor, and vaccinator department, Dr. Sanya Monica, DFWO Lamka, who was the resource person of the program. And she requested the IPPI department to put their full dedications in their work since polio is a serious matter. She also reminded them about how big their role is in the health of the citizens. Veven Langel, VCCM, Lamka, UNDP, WHO, and Pamilian give awareness to the staff on how to use and store the medicine to be used in the IPPI since the hospital don't have much stock of the medicine so the need to store them without any spoilers arise in lamka district the ippi target the 28,650 to run below the age of five in the district excluding the 2000 children belonging to the idp and 310 boots will be opened and 1240 vaccinators will be assigned to vaccinate the children with the ippi vaccine in Persol district, the IPPI targeted 3,650 children below the age of 5, where 50 booths will be set up and 360 vaccinators are to assign. The DFWO informed the public to vaccinate Yorkies below the age of 5 at the nearest booth. National Immunization Day will be held from 3rd to 5th March, where 3, where 3 lakh 53,000. 774 children below the age of 5 in the whole Manipur state are targeted to be vaccinated and 14,246 vaccinators are assigned. 712 supervisors will supervise the 3,564 booths all over the state. As per records from 2009, 
50% of the world polio's patients is from India. Hence, the Indian government set up the routine immunization and intensified post-polio immunizations to eradicate polio in the country. By March 27, 2014, India had become a polio-free country, but the World Health Organization, as a public health emergency, made this vaccination a compulsion for every child below the age of five. Please check every children on the street, check their fingernail, whether they are vaccinated or not. If not, if they are not vaccinated, then give them, give, uh, give them the vaccination then and then itself. Maintain the coaching system because all vaccines are uh, sensitive to heat. Okay. Heat and ECC and MRR are uh, sensitive, more sensitive. Mizoram Chief Minister Laldu Oma on Thursday said his government would not collect biometric details of Myanmar and Bangladesh refugees. The Chief Minister said the center is currently providing assistance to the state government to provide relief to refugees from Myanmar and Bangladesh and internally displaced people IDP from Manipur who are taking shelter in the state. Lal Duoma informed the assembly on Thursday that the Ministry of Home Affairs had directed the state government to collect biometric data of Myanmar and Bangladesh refugees in April last year. Although the previous Mizoram National Front MNF government had initially processed the initiative to worse the central direction by conducting training and appointing nodal officers. The Council of Ministers, in its meetings held in September last year, decided not to conduct biometric and biographic enrollment for Myanmar and Bangladesh refugees. Citing it is not advisable to undertake biometric and biographic preparation due to the state assembly pools to be held in November that year, he said. Our government has decided not to collect biometric details of Myanmar and Bangladesh refugees. During my meeting with the Union Home Minister in January, I told him that the center is using the existing portal, which is meant for the deportations of illegal immigrants, for collecting biometric details of refugees. Laldo Oma said while replying to questions from opposition MNF member Robert Romoy Royte. He said that the Myanmar and Bangladesh nationals who took refuge in the state fear deportation due to the center's directive to collect biometric data from them. Upon request, the Home Minister gave him assurance that no refugees would be deported until peace is restored in the neighboring countries, the Chief Minister said. Laldu Amal also said that the state government is currently providing assistance to refugees from Myanmar and Bangladesh and IDP from Manipur with its own resources. He said that the center has also provided rupees 3 crore during the MNF rule and is continuously helping the present state government to provide assistance to the refugees and IDP. According to the state home, home department, a total of 32,000. 221 Myanmar nationals are currently taking shelter in different parts of the state, with Champai district hosting the highest number of Myanmar refugees at 12,484. At least 1,167 Bangladesh nationals are also taking shelter in southernmost Mizoram's Longlai district, is said. Besides, more than 9,000 internally displaced people from Mizoram are also currently from Manipur are also currently taking shelter in Mizoram, the Home Department say. The Myanmar refugees have taken shelter in the state since February 2021 after the military junta seized power, while the Bangladeshi national fled to Mizoram in November 2022 due to military offensive against an ethnic insurgent group by the Bangladesh Army in Bangladesh Chittagong Hill Track CST. The cookies of people from Manipur took refuge in Mizoram since May last year, following ethnic violence with the majority Meti community. The Chim people, the Chim people from Myanmar, Bom community, 
from Bangladesh and Kulkizo people from Manipur share ethnic ties with the Mizos. That's all from us tonight and we thank you for joining our program.